Well, hello. Today I'd like to give you my first impressions of a Hungarian pen. So this pen that I'll be showing you today is a Pevdi. It is a stainless steel Pevdi. I do not have a model number for it. Uh, unfortunately, that kind of stuff can be hard to find with some of these vintage brands that I like to buy. So I'll just do my best to identify the pen and show you the box and maybe somebody out there knows what it's called. So if so, please leave a comment down below so I can correct the title of this video. So let's dive into it. All right, so today I'd like to take you to Hungary to discuss this Pevdi pen and pencil set. Or maybe it's pen and pen set. Anyway, it arrived in this box, and it's just branded Pevdi all over the place, just in case you were wondering. So slip that puppy out. Ooh, we have vintage cartridges, which uh, I may rehydrate and use at a future point. I don't know that I want to do it in this video, but it lies in a nice pen coffin. So we'll take the lid off. It's just kind of a flimsy plastic. Um, the cartridges look to be pretty standard type cartridges. But of course, one of the limitations of cartridges is they do dry out over time, which these have definitely done. Uh, we'll take a look first at the not a fountain pen, real briefly. So it has a Pevdi logo, I guess. Pevdi. And it looks to be a ballpoint. A clicky ballpoint. I wonder if it even writes. Probably not. No, I didn't think it would after all this time. I don't know how old it is. Uh, to get at it... Hmm, I will have to figure that out later. Sometimes you unscrew the tip here, and it just may be tight. Uh, other times there's another way to get at it, so I'll just figure it out later. I, or maybe never, because, you know, it's a ballpoint. Uh, the, the main part of the show is this. This is the fountain pen. We've got a bit of Pevdi going on there. Uh, a little bit of Pevdi going on here. And something that looks really familiar. So, as I'm thinking it looks familiar. This is a Marcant I reviewed some time ago. This is a Marcant... Uh, 7720, which uh, at the time I reviewed it, I said, well, this is kind of like a Mont Blanc, um, and I don't remember the model anymore. I don't really care, but uh, the important thing is they do seem to be similar. This, the Marcant, which is East German, has a lot more texture, um, definitely snaps to cap with a lot more authority. This one just kind of bloop. But when I uncap them both and take a look, I mean, those nibs are identical. Uh, those feeds are identical. So, Marcant on this side, of course. So, I think there are some common parts here assembled by different companies. Now, they're a little different, you know, Barrels are a little different. Sections are a little different. Um, one of my complaints when I reviewed the Marcant was this this is very sharp. And I didn't care for the metal section. But this is not a review of the Marcant. This is a review of the Pevdi. So we take a look at the Pevdi. That actually is a lot nicer. I still don't like the metal section. But uh, a lot nicer step up here. It's not sharp. Unscrew it. I, you know, I flushed it so I know it's clean, but it was in good shape. So, all in all, it's looking good. One thing I'm noticing, which could be interesting, I definitely see some light between the feed and the nib. So it may turn out that some heat setting is needed. I don't know. But uh, like I said, I don't want to put the, the Pevdi ink in it right now. That'll be an experiment for the future. I don't know what kind of converter it is. I tried filling with it earlier today, and that was a fail in a different pen. 
there we go whatever this is fit in there perfectly now before i get myself in trouble yep okay got to make sure it all fits so let's put some parker quink blue into or washable blue into it And we'll do it again, just for luck. And there we go. All right, so this is a good example of just because you see a problem doesn't mean that it is a problem, because this is writing just fine. Uh, and I, I'll definitely say this is more comfortable than that Marcant. So the ink is Parker Quink. Washable blue. Uh, flex, yeah. I mean, it's a, obviously a steel nib. But I'd say it definitely has some bounce to it. That's actually kind of fun. Uh, wetness and flow. It is warming up in my hand now. I did pretty well with that. The smear test. Smear fest. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty wet. Uh, reverse writing. Kind of an extra fine and feels just as good as the uh, front side. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. So, if you had any lingering doubts about that nib and feed, that delivers the ink with no problem at all. So that was my Pevdi stainless steel set. Uh, I still have not figured out, it's been a few days, I have not figured out how to get into the ballpoint, and I don't care very much. So, <laughs> enough on that. Uh, but, I've been writing with this pen, I, I kind of, well, I batch filmed nine reviews that day, but I've been kind of focusing on this one today. Uh, I, I've been writing a little with most of them, there's one or two that just kind of, ooh, maybe not. Anyway, I've been writing with this one a lot today, and uh, turns out it's kind of enjoyable. You know, I, I compared it in the video to the Marcant, and the Marcant has that sharp edge that just kind of ruins the whole effect. Pevdi got it right. They don't have that sharp edge. You know, I think the Marcant is a better looking pen. It feels like a better made pen. I'm pretty happy with this Pevdi. And, uh, you know, I'm a little sad about how the whole... Or, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm really happy. Sorry, I'm thinking of a different pen. Uh, you'll see that video eventually where I uh, had to use a cartridge instead of a converter because I couldn't find a, car a converter that fit. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with how this uh, converter's working. And, uh, you know, the Pilot, cust or the Pilot Washable Blue looks pretty good in this pen. And, you know, that nib has just the right amount of bounce. It's been kind of fun. And, you know, it's and yet it's a daily writer type of pen. This isn't, isn't a, a fun pen. So, uh, kind of finds that happy place where it adds something to your daily writing. Uh, one other test I always like to do. Of course, this is a thicker shirt, but whoop, no, it was no problem. Fits on with no problem at all. So, that, it's, um, it's a pocket test. So, that's my Pevdi. I, again, if you know anything about the model, I would sure welcome your comments because I don't know anything about the model. So, uh. Any help you can provide me would very, very much be appreciated. So, I want to thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.